President Biden tells U.S. citizens to leave Ukraine now, warning things could go crazy quickly. Britain's most senior police officer is to step down after the mayor of London said he had no confidence in her leadership. Canadian truckers block more border crossings to the U.S. in their protest over COVID restrictions, with the economy now counting the cost. And a coronavirus scare for the Queen, Prince Charles, tests positive two days after meeting the monarch. As with all medical or health-related matters, Buckingham Palace is saying the absolute minimum. All that royal sources will say is that the Queen is not displaying any symptoms of Covid. The former Conservative Prime Minister Sir John Major has accused the current British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his officials of breaking lockdown rules and dreaming up brazen excuses to defend the indefensible. In a speech, Sir John insisted deliberate lies to Parliament should always be fatal to political careers. All abandoned wells in Morocco will be surveyed following the tragic death of a young boy earlier this week. Rayan's plight at the bottom of a narrow 32-metre deep borehole gripped millions in Morocco and beyond. A water ministry official said the survey was designed to prevent a repeat of the tragedy. He said those who dug wells that flouted regulations would be required to pay to make them safe. Now, Belgium's leading art museum has returned a painting that it's held for more than 70 years after it was looted by the Nazis. The work belonged to a Jewish couple who fled their home in Frankfurt in 1938. Throughout Europe, there are still many works of art that have yet to be returned to the descendants of their original owners.